is an actual O-level question taken from the 2021 paper one exam. And this question was question 15. In Let's get to it. We have 2x plus 3p in bracket square equals 4x square minus, minus 36x plus 81. And we want to solve for the numerical value of p. Now, what, we, what are we going to do? We are going to expand the right-hand side and then compare coefficients. Now, we will recall that a plus b in bracket square, the special expansion formula that we learned in sec 2. a plus b in bracket square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. With this in mind, we can identify 2x as a, identify 3p as b. So, let's use this expansion. So, a square is 2x in bracket square plus 2ab. So, 2 times 2x times b which is 3p. We have covered a square. We have covered 2ab. So, b square, don't forget. What is the b square? The b square is 3p in bracket square. So, let me just simplify this part first. So, 2 square x square plus 2 times 2 times 3 is 12. So, plus 12px. Okay, I'll put p in front of x. So, I'll have 12p as a coefficient of x plus 3 square p square. Now, simplifying further, we get 4x square plus 12px plus 9p square. Okay, we know that now the 4x square and the 4x square here are equal. We can see that the 12px is comparable to minus 36x. So we can write that down. 12px equals minus 36x. By virtue of this, I can actually solve for p. So basically, I can say that 12p equals to minus 36 and p equals to minus 3. Or I can use the 9p square. 9p square is equals to 81. So basically, in this case, p square equals to 9 and p is actually square root of 9, which is 3 or minus 3. Now, I said that we can actually compare 9p square to 81. But if I compare 9p square to 81, I have two possible values of p. Then, in this case, after I do this, I still would have to do this because this gives me conclusively one single value of p, which is minus 3 in this case. 